Jack for um, stopping the trailer falling over. position. made up armory it's got little arms on the side that flip down that grab onto the cleats playing off a little bit of an experiment U plus boxes. That seems to work really good. You gotta watch the top, isn't it? is adjustable up and down in height. It's got a uh, jack on it. Yeah, main boom raises and lowers on a high drive jack. Everything else is electric. Knuckle boom, about three and a half, nearly four meter reach. And I think we'll lift about, about 180 kilos. We've tested both of us on it, which is a 120 130. We made the cradle to hook into the sides of the new plus boxes so we can just make one super. down it that hooks on the next thing. Or two supers. load the back of the ute with it. Yep. No more lifting. You've got, uh, watch the gate. Oh, you got it. Back. 
I'm all lifting. Normally he'd have four of the wheel stands down just to take the full load so that you can get the weight spread evenly. Um, but he only needs one because he's doing a quickie. Yeah, we've built the trailer with four jack stands so we can get it level. Um, and it can, it can stay in place. Super easy to move Put around. The on. like a dancing partner. It is. Except you can't step on her feet, babe. <laughs> My first waltz went here. <laughs> okay, this is um, Craig's hive crane that he's made in action. He dropped these 20 hives here over the last two nights. And he's just um, checking in this hive because um, I think it's a double brood and he's got to check and see if there's any honey in the bottom to move up before he puts a queen excluder on to put the supers on. We will keep it as a double hive. But you can see what he's done is he's just, um, the hive crane's got like a lift a jack actually built into it so he, he jacked it up because it gives him a bit of a bit more height and then he slid the cradle down the side of the hive and you can see it has like little flaps on the edge of the cradle and they when you put it below the new plus hives or any hives with lifting arms on the side then um, it clips into place when you then take the winch up so you can see or you, you might be able to see his um, the box he's just lifted off is just hanging behind him while he manages to hide precision dropping and then he takes the cradle off it's got a four meter arm reach and the trail makes a really good workspace it's awesome there he goes again okay you can see the clips better on this one so he puts the clips down And then they just will grab onto whatever sort of notch is next above above where they are. Oh, good point. Sometimes your queen excluders are sticky. Just 
lights the super off. So easy. Putting it on the trail. There he goes, he's going to put the seated back on. And watch it doesn't go up too high with the hydraulics and the winch. And then he's just going to slide it back on, float it over, slide it back on. Oh, plonk. And when you lower it down, the little edges, you fold them back out. And then you can slide it out. So easy. No lifting. <laughs>